Hey everybody, Prickly Pete here. Uh, sorry to abruptly end my last video, um, but we are going to continue uh, construction on the car, or building the car, I should say, and uh, we will uh, take it from there, and uh, hopefully we can do some uh, sewage jobs, get some more money, and uh, we'll see how things go. So let's get started. Love waking up in this house. So where do we leave off? Okay, okay. Did I screw this in? Something tells me I only did the one side. Oh, I don't have a tool in my hand. Right. I think it was like 12 or something like that. Okay, so that one's in. Okay, so that one's done. And we're going to take the half shaft because it shares the same bolt as um, as these disc brakes over here. So it's important to do them at the same time. Oh, where is it? There it is. We're also going to do the steering rod, or steering rack, sorry. These are the steering rods, I think. Yeah. So we're going to do those. And I forgot to delete that mesh file that would fix my dented front end here, so I'll have to do that next time. <coughs> because uh, it makes a big difference. So let's put that on, and then we will just stick this through here. Oh, I saw it. There it is. Okay. Put that on, and we'll put this through here. Oh, there it is. And I think it's a 13. Nope, that's for the tires. It's 14 then. There we go. There we go. Let's reach in here and grab a trusty old beer. Ah, oh, I just missed. And let's take the steering rack. Put it over here. And I have no idea what size to use. There we go. This way I can kind of be close enough to see both. <coughs> there we go. And the good thing is too, is you can actually screw these in and they'll stay screwed in. So when you put the engine in the car, um, it's uh, they're already screwed in. You actually don't need to screw them in again. Kind of funny how that works, but... I will take it. Come on, I saw you. I saw you. Oh boy. Oops, I think I'm doing this the wrong way. Don't mind me, I'm just bashing in my car here. Okay, well, this is odd. Never had so many so much problems putting these on before. Oops. Just like 
threw it in there. Ah, there it is. There we go, my goodness. Jeez, that took a long time. Oh, first guess. Left, front, right. And my car is bouncing up and down. Hey. it up here. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that they're this big. There's no way. Must have missed one. I know I picked that one before. So I don't understand why it didn't work. Okay, those are all on. Steering column needs to go in. I don't know if I can just do it from the front. Oh, I can. Beautiful. Okay, so it's getting pretty dark out, but I'm not tired yet. So, try and angle it like this a little bit, and then that way I can uh, kind of see in. I know there's screws in here somewhere, I just can't find them. Um, okay, so we'll deal with that later, I guess. Let's take this. This is the left side, actually. Sometimes it's like a guessing game with these check marks. You know where the part should go, but it, you know, doesn't show up properly. Take a shortcut through the car here. Oops. There we go. And as I said before, we can use the headlights on this thing. Um, if I can find the ignition, there it is, and lights, there we go, that makes things a lot easier. And, no, I don't 
think it's 13. Let's try 12. Yeah. Okay, that one's in. That one's in. Beautiful. So we need a shock absorber coil spring and the drum brakes on each side. So we can just throw them into place for now. And then don't forget this is only the body. And then we gotta do the whole um, there we go. Gotta do the whole uh, engine, which uh, is quite a lengthy process. Whoops. Not the button I wanted to press. Apparently, my cat thought that would be a good idea to press that button, though. Uh, I don't remember if they're. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Really doesn't look like that big of a screw. I didn't think it would be this this size. Okay, you know what? <laughs> of course. Isn't that always the way? So, um, we're pretty much ready for the uh, tires at this point, um, which is pretty good. We did that uh, fairly quickly. Uh, so we can do uh, tires, um, all the lights, like headlights, taillights. Uh, we can start putting in the dash. Uh, and really, I do the engine last myself, but uh, obviously it doesn't matter. And we probably won't be using these tires for long. Um, it's expensive to buy new ones, but these tires are pretty crappy. Not to mention they are extremely ugly. Just look like, you know, old winter tires. So let's grab the dashboard. Might be hard to put in, actually. And, uh, it's pretty lit up in here. Get something small. There we go. It's 
part of the dash in. And we'll take this. Oh, it looks like we're going to need another beer. We haven't drank enough. That is the issue. I think this is going to be the smallest size. Nope. Maybe this one? Ah, there we go. Okay. And reach in here, grab a beer. Pass her in. Left side in. And we'll take the right side in. Uh, by the way, you guys can import music into this game. Um, it uh, only takes uh, .ogg uh, format, so you can uh, convert music. So if you have MP3s, you can use like uh, VLC and just convert music into OGG files, which is what the game requires. And uh, <laughs> look how bashed in that is. This doesn't even sit even close to in position. But we'll screw it in anyways. And uh, the cool thing about that is in your bedroom you have a stereo system and you can carry it out here whoops, and then put it up in your garage and then that way you can play your music. Uh, it's a nice little feature. Uh, every once in a while they'll have some type of like a finish uh, like commercial. It's kind of funny. You know, the whole Helvete thing. I don't know what it means, but... So we'll just put these at the right sides so they're easy to put on. There we go. Um, while the car is like that, you can put in the gas tank, uh, you can put on the muffler, uh, you can put in this fuel line, fuel tank pipe, uh, handbrake lines, all that sort of stuff. Um, definitely beneficial to use this pit here to put on your exhaust, which is sitting down there, as well as to hook up anything that's underneath the vehicle. So there's a few things. There's that. Um, you have your gear linkage, which connects to your gear stick, which can be installed beforehand. So let's take that. And it goes right there. And there we go. There we go. And there we go. Now we have a gear shift. Let's throw our steering wheel on as well, just so it actually looks. Oops, clutch line. Don't need that yet, anyways. Stock steering wheel. Is it 10 or is it 9? No, it's 10. And our speedometer. Oh, no, it's RPM gauge. Never mind, sorry. The speedometer's already in it, I guess. Yes, it is. Okay. I think back in here is a plug. Ah, yes, there's a screw back there. Okay, so let's find out which one that is. There we go. And I th think there's one in the pedals here somewhere. Isn't there? I could be just making that up, but... Hmm. You know what? 
I might just be making that up. I don't see anything. Yep, I don't see anything. No, oh, okay, never mind. Alrighty, so, um, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Our fatigue is pretty much maxed out. Uh, so, we need to drink another beer. And then we will call it a night. If you drink that bottle you get for Christmas, it uh, absolutely destroys you where you can't even see straight. So have fun with that. And there we go. That's all done. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for me. Go in here. This is our bed. This is our stereo, and this is how you order stuff. You go through the parts catalog, and like I said, it gives you an envelope, and you order through there. Alrighty, guys. Well, have a good night. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.